Free Motion Couching Foot Set is designed to let you sew over cords and yarns as you do free motion stitching on quilts or other embellishment projects. The Free Motion Couching Feet can also be used on embroidery machines when doing outline quilting in the embroidery hoop. The set contains feet with openings in three sizes, 1.5 mm, 2 mm, and 3 mm for various sizes of cords and yarn. As with all free motion feet, lower the feed dog, cover the feed, or turn the stitch length dial to zero if you can't lower or cover the feed. In free motion sewing, you will be in control of moving the fabric. Select the size foot to use that most closely matches the size of your cording or yarn. You want the cord to flow through freely, but you want to also use the smallest size possible to keep the cord from jumping around in the hole as you change directions when you sew. A test sample is very important to do as the size foot you thought was right for your yarn may actually be too big or too small. You will know if the opening is too small if the yarn gets held up frequently as you sew and the opening is too large if the yarn doesn't get caught by the needle when changing directions. Here are some examples of yarns and trims that are suitable for free motion couching. An average weight all-purpose knitting yarn a designer eyelash yarn that is consistent in size, this thin metallic yarn, and these narrow flat woven braids or ribbon floss also work excellent for free motion couching. Yarns that vary from thin to thick are not usually suitable, and yarns with sequins or other items spun within them are also not suitable. To couch the yarn, you can use matching or contrasting thread to do the work. You can use rayon or polyester embroidery thread, metallic thread, or if you have a really beautiful trim, use monofilament thread so that the stitching will not show. Before attaching the foot to your machine, use a needle threader or serger looper threader to bring the cord or yarn through the hole in the foot from the top to the bottom. Use one of the included washers between the presser foot screw and the free motion couching foot. The foot can be positioned slightly higher or lower on the machine. You want the foot as low as possible, but still provide enough room for the thickness of the fabric as well as the thickness of the cord being couched. Practicing on a sample will tell you if you need to make an adjustment of the foot up or down. The machine that we are using in this video has a built-in hopper mechanism in the presser bar for free motion sewing. Most machines no longer utilize this superior feature and have gone to using a non-hopping presser bar. Whichever system your machine has, because of the adjustability of the free motion couching foot, you will have great results whether the foot hops or just floats over the surface of the fabric. Use a straight stitch center needle position only. Check with a hand wheel that the needle is entering the hole without rubbing against the side of the hole. Over time, any sewing machine can need an adjustment to realign the needle back to the true center position. This is usually never noticed until you use a foot with only a straight stitch opening. Unfortunately, not all sewing machine technicians check minor details such as these when you take your machine in for a general cleaning, so it's up to you to make sure they do. In the meantime, if your machine has adjustable needle positions, you can move the needle slightly to compensate. Check first with a hand wheel before sewing. If you have ever done free motion sewing before, you know that you need to develop a rhythm to it and each situation can require a different rhythm than another. Working with the yarn couching foot is no different. Because you are working with another medium, the yarn, Things will feel a bit different, but it's easy to get the feel of it as you do some practicing. Sew at a medium speed while moving the fabric in any direction you wish. The cording or yarn must be allowed to be completely slack between the foot and the skein or the spool. If the cording gets caught, it will not stitch properly. Pull out several feet and let it pool off to the side of your work or on your lap to make sure it is ready to feed up through the foot at all times. Keep the fabric moving. A buildup of yarn or cord will jam under the foot if you sew in one spot too long. Stop when you need to reposition your hands or pull out more yarn. Use the needle down position to keep your work from shifting while you do. If your stitching starts and stops within the usable fabric area, 
Leave the yarn tails long and bring them through to the back side with a tapestry needle and not so the yarn ends will not show. Use freeform designs at random as you stitch or draw your design ahead of time with a washable marking pen or use a quilting stencil. For printed fabrics, try adding depth and dimension by following pattern outlines already on the fabric. The twist of the cord being couched will affect the results. The more loosely twisted or woven, the more the trim will actually bloom as you stitch through it. Tightly twisted trims and cords will retain their shape more as they are stitched through. Using the free motion couching foot set with an embroidery machine works exactly in the same way as free motion couching. On embroidery machines that have an automatic foot up down feature, in addition to the adjustability of the foot height on the presser bar as mentioned before, you may need to adjust the presser foot height in your machine's setting menu. Again, test. Select an open design with a running stitch such as a quilting design. One thing to note is that designs like this can have a single forward motion stitch or they may be done in a triple stitch where the stitch is three times as heavy. The single stitch version is best when couching yarns. You will have plenty of design definition. A design sewn in triple stitch can be used if the yarn is not too bulky. Keep in mind your design will be very heavy in appearance with a triple stitch. But as with everything worth doing and sewing, Test and try your options extensively before committing to an actual project. Being a sewing artist often means more experimentation than work on the finished project. Always leave your beginning and end yarn tails long enough to pull through to the back side with a tapestry needle and tie. This will keep your design perfect with no tail of where it began and ended. All other embroidery setup and rules are the same as when doing any other embroidery design. But now, aren't you excited to try some wonderful dimensions to quilting in the embroidery hoop with the yarn couching foot set? The yarn couching foot set is available for all brands of sewing machines in our web store, thecolorfulworldofsewing.com. We have an exhaustive line of presser feet for all sewing machines as well as a great variety of sewing notions and tools of all kinds. Stop by today and find out why we are the best and most knowledgeable source for sewing machine accessories on the internet. The Colorful World of Sewing.com